Speechify, an online reading assistant. What is Speechify? Speechify is a text-to-speech tool that helps you by reading text aloud to you. You can choose the speaking voice and speed. You can download Speechify as a Chrome extension for your computer as an app for your iOS phone. So you can type in www.speechify.com or you can Google Speechify and click on the first result, which is the official website. So you can click on try it for free in the top right corner. It will redirect you to the Chrome web store. You can also go to the Chrome web store and search for Speechify, then click Speechify for Chrome. Click on add to Chrome to install the web extension. There are a few different voice options to choose from. You can choose different languages. You can click on the play symbol right here to listen to a sample. So then you would select the one you prefer. You can drag this bar to change the speed of the words. So you wanna drag it right for faster and left for slower. You would hit continue when you pick your preferred speed. Then you can pick a plan. So the free version offers you lower quality voices, automatic scrolling and text highlighting. However, if you wanna use the premium version, you have everything in free. So that's the automatic scrolling, text highlighting. They give you human sounding voices, unlimited listening speeds, Speechify Premium on iOS, all major languages, and much more. So you could have Google Docs support, PDF support. If you would prefer the free plan, you could click on Continue to Speechify. It's free. When it takes you to the next screen, click on Start Listening Now. If you wanted to use the paid plan, you would click on Level Up with Premium. You would put in your information to create the account. You would then pick if you'd like to pay annually or monthly. Then you put your credit card information in and click on subscribe. So both plans will give you this next screen. You could choose how you want to use it. So you could use Google Docs, PDFs, Gmail, or web articles. So to pin Speechify to your browser, click on the puzzle piece at the top of the screen, then click on the pin icon next to the Speechify option. Once you've pinned it, it will appear in the top right corner of your browser next to your other extensions. Whenever you want to access it, just click the blue voice waves icon. When you click on the icon, this box will appear at the bottom of your screen. If you're on this site, it's compatible with Speechify. You can tap listen and your chosen voice will begin, begin reading the on-screen text aloud to you. You can pause the reading, go back or forward. If you want to listen to your Google Doc, for example, you could click on the blue play button and it will read the document to you. If you have PDF documents on your computer that you want to be read to you, cl click on the Speechify icon, then click on PDF. This will redirect you to another tab. Drag and drop the PDF file onto the tab. Your PDF file will be uploaded to Speechify. Click the blue play button to begin listening. If you want to learn more about Chrome extensions in general and how to manage them, check out the past webinar on Chrome extensions here. Speechify is an app available download to download on iOS devices from the Apple Store. You could use it to hear articles, PDFs, digital texts, physical books as audio on your phone or iPad. So now I will be conducting a quick live demo.
Okay. So as Brooke mentioned during the presentation, um, there are a few different ways that you can use Speechify. You can download it as an app on your phone if, if you are an iOS user. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't believe they have it available for Android, but um, whatever kind of computer you have, you are able to download and use um, Speechify. And one of the ways is through a Chrome web extension. So uh, if you're familiar with Chrome web extensions, um, they are just little helpers that um, you can, that upgrade your browser and allow you to do different things. For example, Grammarly is another one. Um, there are also ad blocker Chrome extensions. And then of course, today we are talking about Speechify. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Chrome web store. So here, as you can see, I just typed in Chrome web store into my browser, and then I will click on this first result here. And now that I'm in the store, I can search for the extension that I'm looking for. So I'm going to type in Speechify. And it should be this first one that shows up right here. So I'm just going to click on that. And here, if you want to read a little bit more about uh, Speechify and see the overview and the additional information, you're free to click through these different tabs here. You can see the reviews as well. As you can see, it's quite highly rated. And once you are ready to install it, you just click Add to Chrome right here, and then click Add Extension. So it may take a minute or two for it to download. And then once it is ready, it will open up another tab on your browser. And now you'll have to make some selections to get started. So the first thing you're, want, you're going to do is select what kind of voice you want to read out the text to you. So there are many different options. Um, this is English, but if you speak another language, um, they also have Spanish, Italian, German, French, and many others. And then just under English, there are several different um, voices, genders, and ac um, accents to choose from. And if you want to be able to hear one to sample it, all you have to do is click the little play button. Hi, my name is Emma. I am an American English voice. Um, and then if you scroll through, you can see some other nationalities, for example. So these ones are um, Australian, if you like the sound of Australian voices, you can click Hi, on those. My name is Harry. Oh. I am a British English voice. Sorry, that one's British. I get the flags mixed up. And then over here we have um, Australian. Hi, my name is Olivia. I am an Australian English voice. Right, so you can go through all of those and see which one you prefer. And then you, when you uh, select the one you want, you just scroll down and press continue. And it does mention that you can change the voice later on if you wish to. So Hi. once my sorry, once we select the voice, you will select the speed that the voice speaks to you. So this feature is very useful because you really can customize it to exactly what you want. So if I want her to speak a little faster, I can move it up this way. And then to test it out, I just press the play button. Thanks, Olivia. I am an Australian English voice. Hi. And if I decide that's much too fast for me, then I can drag it backwards and test it again. My name is Olivia. I am an Australian English voice. So I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle. And then when I have the one I like, I'm just going to press continue. And so now um, you are going to choose whether or not you want to continue with the free account or download, uh, or sorry, pay for the premium accounts. Um, if all you want is the basic features and something to read to you, then um, the free account is fine. It works for many people. So we're just going to continue on for that one. Um, and if you decide later on that you would like to try the premium account, then you are able to download that um, at a later point. So let's give the free version a try. Um, I'm going to start by just pinning it to my screen. So up here is where you can see um, all of my extensions. 
And so if I click this little jigsaw puzzle piece here, and then I find Speechify right here and then press the pin button. Now, as you can see, we have this little sound wave icon that appears at the top of my browser. So whenever I want to use it, I just tap on that. So let's give it a try. Let's say I am in Google Docs and I want this to be read to me. Now you can see that because I have Speechify installed, it automatically um, appears right here at the top and it says click here to listen to this document. So if I tap on this little blue play button, it will begin to read it to me. Google Docs to be translated. Google Docs. Share either your whole desktop or a portion of your screen. If you just share. When I want to stop, I just press the pause button right here. You see there's this little player. I can move it around up or down on my screen. I can also um, go back if I want to go back a little bit or go forward to jump to a different part of the document. I can also use this little bar to scroll forward to jump maybe if I want to go to the end and then just press play to make it start going again. So that's how it works on Google Docs. All right, and then if I want to be able to, um, for example, um, have a PDF document read to me, then all I have to do is tap on that icon. Oh, let's go to another web page. So I'm going to tap on the Speechify icon, and then I am going to tap on PDF, which is right here. Now it will redirect me to this page, and I'm going to choose the particular PDF that I want from my files. And then I'm going to drag and drop it onto the screen. And so depending on the document, um, this might work better with some than with others. For example, this one, there's um, some, some funky text and fonts, which can sometimes make it difficult to read it back to you. Um, so you can definitely experiment with this. Try doing using different websites, using different PDFs, and um, see what it works best with. And if I want it to read it to me, I just press the play button again. M-O-N-E-Y-R-O-A-D-M-A-P. Take a look at your joy list and dream list sheets. And then just pause it to make it stop. Okay, so that is the basics of Speechify.